Hello everybody, my name is Liam Malkov and you are on Astrobath. <laughs> Astrobath is not a place, it is a space where I recharge my Astro batteries and share that energy with you. And uh, today is a special day because uh, there are no stars behind me, there is no clear skies above me and uh, I'm just getting ready for the future transit of International Space Station that will occur uh, tomorrow morning uh, first transit will be 5 a.m. Uh, the second uh, transit will be 7 a.m. in the morning. I'm not sure whether it will be uh, clear and uh, I'm not sure whether I'll be a success or not. But I'll use uh, this uh, very uh, Newtonian telescope that has a uh, 1000 mm focal length. It has uh, Expo Scientific Focal Extender two times a focal extender that will make uh, the total focus of uh, two meters. I really anticipate a lot of likes and dislikes and uh, a lot of interest to this video because my previous video where I manually tracked uh, the ISS transit has a big success but also there are a lot of people that do not understand that uh, the size of the telescope doesn't guarantee that there will be a lot of details. Other astrophotographers and astronomers who have uh, uh, their channels and uh, who has this experience of tracking, uh, catching uh, ISS with their uh, telescopes uh, prove that. And uh, I just want to clarify one interesting thing uh, that uh, people uh, get upset uh, with the size of the International Space Station on their uh, screens and uh, the fact is that uh, the size uh, can be uh, calculated easily because uh, we have uh, known uh, angular sizes of uh, different objects on the sky especially the moon and uh, it is a well-known fact that uh, the size of the moon is 1800 uh, seconds arc seconds and uh, we know the distance uh, to the moon it is about 400,000 kilometers uh, 400 million meters we know the distance uh, uh, to the space station international space station it is about uh, 400 uh, kilometers and uh, we may guess uh, how big the moon will be if uh, the distance uh, to it uh, is uh, uh, the same distance as we uh, we have uh, uh, to the International Space Station. Uh, we can take the ratio that will be calculated if we divide uh, the size of the space station, it is about uh, uh, 100 meters, to the size of the moon. The diameter of the moon that is uh, 3500 uh, uh, kilometers will get a certain number and uh, we may uh, multiply that number uh, to the size of the moon that will be uh, uh, 1000 times uh, closer to the earth and uh, that number will be about uh, 50 arc seconds and uh, if we know that uh, the camera that is attached to the telescope uh, has a, uh, has a, a two seconds per pixel uh, resolution and uh, that will mean that uh, the size of the space station on the screen uh, will be about 25 pixels. So, all of you who are dissatisfied with the fact that uh, the uh, space station looks uh, not uh, the way you have expected and uh, you should simply calculate and uh, just believe in numbers, believe in science and uh, just uh, get a big telescope and uh, a camera with a smaller pixel. <laughs> so I, I just laugh and uh, just uh, enjoy <laughs> understanding that I understand that and uh, I hope that uh, you check my calculation uh, and understand uh, how 
uh, and what the size of the space station will be if you use your own uh, camera and uh, uh, the telescope that you have. So, uh, the next uh, part of the video will be uh, the way the space station is uh, caught uh, with the telescope. So let's start uh, record recording of the ISS. It is a uh, sunrise at the time it is uh, uh, 7 a.m. Uh, 15 minutes in the morning. The ISS should uh, appear there uh, in the southern west. I have slept three hours today and it is an early morning uh, in Omsk and uh, <laughs> uh, the skies are clear and that is a small window uh, between uh, uh, the days of uh, poor weather and uh, I decided not to try automatic uh, tracking but uh, I did that manually and uh, Everything was uh, uh, in the last moment uh, focusing and so on, and uh, that is uh, the result that uh, you may see now. So, uh, subscribe to the Astrobath, and uh, uh, see you next time on Astrobath. Keep your Astrobath recharged. Bye bye.